Good morning, teacher cadets. Today we will learn about Piaget's theory of cognitive development. He was a psychologist and philosopher known for his work with children. His theory of cognitive development is called genetic epistemology, which can be identified by four different stages. The first stage is sensory motor stage, which extends from birth to age two. Senses, motor abilities, and reflexes develop rapidly, which are demonstrated through motor activity due to use of symbols. Infants develop knowledge of the world through experiences and physical interaction. For example, if you take a toy away from the child, the reaction would be sadness. Physical development allows the child to develop intellectual and eventually symbolic abilities. From ages 2 through 7, children are in the pre-operational stage of cognitive development. Although they are not able to think logically, children are able to represent the world through symbols and mental images. All those symbols depend on each individual's own perception. Pre-operational children are entirely egocentric, in which they are only able to see objects and people around them from one point of view. The illogical manner of thinking is a key factor in pre-operational stage. Along with the demonstration of intelligence through symbols, maturing of language, and development of memory and imagination. From age 7 to 11, children are in a concrete operational stage. In this stage of cognitive development, intelligence is demonstrated logical and systematic manipulation of symbols involving concrete objects. In this example, the child is able to quickly solve the problem by visualizing it. Children also develop operational thinking, in which mental actions are reversible and their egocentric thoughts vanish. From age 11 to 16, children in the formal operational stage are able to think about the future instead of being limited to the present. They have the ability to use flexible, systematic, and rational thoughts and apply them to abstract and hypothetical concepts. The individual is able to determine a variety of ways to solve a problem and view a problem from several point of views. The adolescent develops an inner sense of value and moral judgment. In this stage, individuals now have the necessary mental tools to continue living his or her life. Created using Powtoon.